We're closer to witnessing the very first and historic launch of the giant Starship rocket. It's been a long and tedious journey that can be better attested by the chief executive officer of SpaceX, Elon Musk. Starship is SpaceX's brand new rocket that is this far appear to none in the entire space industry. It's said to be the successor of SpaceX's very successful rocket, the Falcon 9. This giant rocket is even expected to outperform the Falcon series of rockets by taking up a whole lot for assignments, including one which is highly anticipated by the space lovers, to land humans on the surface of the moon once more. It is for this reason that NASA is keenly following up on the development of the progress of Starship since its commencement, and it's for this reason perhaps that the Federal Aviation Administration FAA, is not willing to take anything to chance when it comes to following the licensing procedures for the Starship launch. In fact, SpaceX and the space regulatory agencies have often crossed paths. Several times, the ambitious private space company has found itself in the wrong side of the agency laws. One such drama played out back in 2020 when SpaceX was conducting a high-altitude Starship prototype test. It suffices to say it ended up noisy and messy, and the noise of its loud explosive landing seems to have caught the attention of FAA officials who were well aware that SpaceX had broken the agency's regulations. Nevertheless, SpaceX CEO Elon Musk and his staff celebrated with shouts of excitement, declaring that the test was a success. But of all the unruly endeavors of SpaceX, the most recent one cost Elon Musk both time and money. In August 2022, SpaceX launched its Starlink satellites to the orbit as they have usually done. However, in advance, they failed to serve the Federal Aviation Administration with proper data about the launch and its potential for collision with debris in the orbit. In a statement the Federal Aviation Administration said, SpaceX was required to submit the data to the agency at least seven days prior to the attempted launch. Because of this neglect, Musk's company SpaceX was slapped with $175,000 as a fine. Whereas this amount is not a big deal to the billionaire, it did obviously wound the trust of the FAA officers, the very ones who are to decide when Starship is due for licensing, not the type of guys you want to get on the bad side of. Nonetheless, the prospect of a working Starship is welcomed news to the Starlink satellite project. Because they are more powerful and with larger carrying capacity, they are expected to cut down the cost of launching satellites. And as the company is gearing towards accomplishing its mega goal of a cluster of 42,000 satellites in Earth's low orbit, Starship could quickly bring that to reality. Besides this expected major work of ferrying satellites to orbit, they will also be engaged in replenishing the International Space Station ISS, or some being used to provide a faster transportation of people and goods between major cities on Earth. And doesn't Musk want to use it to colonize Mars? Of course, all these are due to the queer uniqueness of the rocket. Starship stands tall from the ground at a height of 120 meters, or 394 feet. At this height, it is indeed pier to none. Besides this, it has a diameter of 9 meters, or 30 feet. The spaceship is made up of two compartments. The upper part is the Starship spacecraft. It's the very payload of the rocket and is expected to house astronauts as for the case of the Artemis lunar program or the Starlink satellites to be delivered to orbit. The lower part is known as the Super Heavy, comprises rocket engines that will propel the spacecraft. Collectively, they are referred to as Starship. Particularly interesting is the 33 rocket engines known as Raptors that will be fired simultaneously during Earth to orbit flights. All the powerful engines combined yield tremendous thrust of about 230 TF. That's sufficient to lift 250 metric tons of cargo to orbit. This is undoubtedly a very impressive performance, but when are we to witness the powerful machine in action? Early this year, SpaceX announced that it is due for its first orbital launch. Gary Henry is a senior advisor for the National Security Space Solutions for SpaceX. During the Space Mobility Conference in Orlando, Florida, he said this, The vehicle is in good shape. The pad is in good shape. We had a successful hot fire, and that was really the last box check. Furthermore, Elon Musk had before tweeted, We have a real shot at late February. 
March launch attempts appears highly likely. As assuring as they can be, it is however apparent that they have missed deadlines in the past. Yeah, typical Musk way. One such was during an event back in 2022 where Elon Musk estimated that everything would be ready in a couple of months. But of course, the said couple of months never materialized. Instead, it came with another major accomplishment. The Starship on June 13th officially received an environmental clearance from the Federal Aviation Administration after nearly half a year of waiting. The clearance deal for its proposed Starship comprises a list of 75 environmental mitigation measures known as the Mitigated Finding of No Significant Impact, or FONSI. The deal demanded SpaceX to implement the measures to the letter before they can hope to get their licensing. And these are a few of those measures. The roads that lead to the site as well as the nearby public beaches are to be closed. SpaceX will be required to publish the notice of closure in advance. These closures, however, will be prohibited during the 18 public holidays and limited to only five weekends per year. Moreover, the closure should never go beyond 500 hours a year for normal operations or additional 300 hours in case of an emergency. The FONSI also limited the yearly orbital launches, as well as the suborbital and the ground testing launches to only five times a year. In addition to this, a qualified biologist will be required at the facility to monitor the impact of activity at the starbase on the wildlife both within the facility and the surrounding areas. And the list goes on. Nevertheless, with no repinning, SpaceX welcomed the decision and the clearance by the FAA. In a tweet the company wrote, one step closer to the orbital flight of the Starship. Since June last year, there has not been clear communication from both parties on the progress of the mitigation measures except a clarification by the FAA. In a statement the agency said, SpaceX needs to implement the more than 75 FAA measures required for environmental mitigation before the launch. It added, some measures must be completed prior to the launch, while others are designed during post-launching activities or following a mishap event. And so after paying the FAA 175,000 whopping bucks, will Musk beat the March deadline for the Starship orbital launch or will he come up with excuses? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. To end this, thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you can always get a notification when we post the latest and most exciting space news that you would not want to miss. Till next time, cheers.